We all know the story of Jeremy Clarkson punching a producer over an argument about inadequate food and the domino effect that led to the famous trio heading to Amazon Prime. But today starts a new chapter for Top Gear with the announcement that there will now be six, yes six, presenters for the BBC show. Please excuse the lack of images as this news is hot off the press so there isn't much out there at the moment. The new format is a huge step away from what the show became known for, but its deliberate shake-up is clearly to distance it from the show of old. There are some great choices in hosts, and some, let's say, interesting ones. Here's the rundown. Chris Evans, the famed radio and TV presenter, takes the helm and is arguably a great choice. Whilst he isn't everyone's cup of tea, Chris is a nice bloke and actually offered me a cup of tea when I first met him. Better than being polite, he knows his cars and has an extensive collection of very valuable, very rare machines. But being a true petrol head, they get plenty of use and they are not museum pieces. Matt LeBlanc, previously the fastest star in a reasonably priced car, the friend star is another enthusiast. Having his name in the credits will no doubt retain the audience that watched Top Gear for entertainment. Chris Harris. Whilst he has become known for drifting supercars on YouTube, Chris has done his time as a proper motoring journalist which gives him great credentials to actually judge a car. He's happy to be controversial and is another good choice. BBC's Formula One pundit and ex-F1 team owner Eddie Jordan is another controversial character and arguably an unusual choice. The BBC has recently announced that they will drop the Formula One coverage on the grounds of costs, freeing up Mr Jordan to join the Top Gear team. Sabine Smits this is one fast lady, as she is actually a professional driver. She found popularity with fans after appearing on Top Gear a few times in the past. Sabine is entertaining, but also knows what she's talking about. Rory Reid Rory may be the least known of the new bunch, but he does work as a motoring journalist. He was selected from the public auditions and has previous presenting experience on Sky One's Gadget Geek show. The Stig has been retained as the tame racing driver for Top Gear, but he's the only link to the old show we know of. Will new Top Gear be any good? I'm willing to give it its chance to prove itself before I judge. Some say it might have too many presenters, and that the three amigos on Amazon Prime will be watching closely. All we know is, new Top Gear kicks off this May. Thank you very much for watching, and let us know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe for more on the latest and greatest cars to hit the road. For all of the latest automotive news, written reviews and coverage from motor shows, go to www.insidelane.co.uk.